As we mentioned on a previous live SDK Q&A, we've just spent several months improving the Scenery Editor. We fixed a lot of bugs and brought you many new features. This video presents the 5 biggest features now available in the Scenery Editor. Let's go! First one is a new top-down camera view. It could be difficult sometimes to place your camera over your airport or your scenery. So now you can just enable the top-down camera view and here it goes, you can move up, down and left right. You can of course zoom in, zoom out and rotation is limited to the z-axis only. Now it should be a lot easier to manage your airport data. Then a feature that was requested by so many of you for such a long time, the extended exclusion polygons. Now you can exclude lights, power poles, floating lights, roads and pylons. In this example, we simply create a polygon, check exclude power lines and they're gone. We had decided to remove the color extractor since we thought it was no longer used, but new needs appeared, so we brought it back from the dead. It is a lot faster, no longer crashes, doesn't teleport your camera anymore and uses the actual Scenery Editor Airport version instead of the BGLs. You can find it at the exact same place as it was before, in the Aprons properties. We now allow you to use Airprons outside of airports and they inherit the same properties as the polygons, so you can add material, edit its opacity, move it around, change the tiling, rotate the materials, add fallout and change the color. Last but not least, the object's management evolves with the new Hide Lock Filter system. You can decide to hide all the objects in the specific type, or just hide their edition markers, or lock them to keep working on other objects without being bothered. We also allow you to rearrange the objects within an airport with several options, alphabetical order, type order, which places all objects of a given type under a dedicated section, or custom, where you choose how to rearrange your objects and can save the settings when you are happy with it. These are just five of the new features that we brought to the Scenery Editor this year. If you have any questions on how to use them, please refer to the online documentation. And if you are still stuck, feel free to have a look to the Answer Hub Dev Support platform, where the community will surely be able to help. Thanks for watching!